Come on, I know you can do it. There we go, it's done in it. Right. Hello everyone. I'm Katana, I'm the Latin Cat. Welcome, welcome to some more of my advice and feedback for Digital Extremes Warframe. <clears throat> First off, I would suggest from Kanzu. that you he load us. Shut up, Ordus. Load us version thingy. It Shut up. Back, uglier and more putrid. Than <coughs> Remain on standby. I may need you at a moment's notice. Okay. Secondly, prior to firstly, but excluding firstly, the mod cards. Why not be able to make our own? Why not have a system where we go on a quest, get a thingy, we install it in the, the mods section. Uh, I don't remember what the little thingy's called, but the label on it's mods when you walk down the ramp. Here, I'll show you. Right over here. The mod station. I'm going to call it the mod station. You install a widget after getting it from a quest, <clears throat> and it adds a fifth, one, two, three, four, five, a sixth widget over here, or further on down the line that you can scroll to, that says construction or creation. Creation, yeah, that's that's also a word I like. Creation. Create your own mod cards. And in order for you to create your own mod card, you have to have it. It has to be maxed out on its um, little dots at the bottom. So if I go over here and let's say I wanted to make just one of these uh, bronze level mod cards that's stronger than... Uh, what the DE sets them at. Oh, by the way, DE, you're gonna have to finagle this idea so that it doesn't exceed the programming, the, the program and the game engine's capacity, as well as uh, you're gonna have to dumb it down a little for consoles because they're not as skookum or as beefy as custom built PCs for gaming so you are gonna have to work on two separate fronts and it's gonna be something that I'm gonna tell you my advice is for everyone just be patient as if you're actually gonna take this uh, idea and advice for making your own mod cards in the game <clears throat> you have to have already acquired the mod. You have to have maxed it out. You have to have put in the effort to be able to make it more powerful or go completely negative and make it to where it takes away your abilities. That way, it makes the game more challenging and it lets people pursue whatever power fantasy they have. So, it's both positive and negative outcome results. Yeah, yeah. Give it a month of people thinking about it. Then ask them, hey, do you want to do this? But, you know, just take a poll. Just introduce the idea, and then a month later, ask everyone, is this something that you, you think, because we've given you some time to think, that you would love to see in the game? So if I wanted to take this one, let me go ahead and see what it will look like maxed out. 275 shield capacity. If I wanted to take that and make it 500 
percent shield capacity I would have to fuse it together with another mod card that's already maxed out and then it would let me set the values and then the um, the endo and the credits to create it as well as whatever whatever other components you de the developers and the creators of this game would decide would be um, equitable for everyone to use in crafting their own mod cards. On top of that, I've already given my idea for, you know, since the mod card system is this game's meta, to just make mods that do literally everything. And yes, you guys, I've already seen, you guys have gotten started on that. So then I could come over here and I could take Vigor and make a one that's 300% for both of those. Take this Vitality off, which 440 health, and I'd have more space. But at the same time, working that in conjunction with having more mod slots that you could buy for Platinum after a while, or just go on a quest, and then you'd have to spend whatever resources that you, DE, decide to spend on increasing how many slots. That way we could have up to three Aura mods going at the same time, and three Exilus uh, slots, and uh, let's see... 8 times 3, 8 and 8 is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 22, 24 total of these regular slots. So that I could make what a lot of um, children keep calling overpowered builds. So that I could pursue my happiness. Unalienable right, pursuit of happiness. And do whatever build I want. I don't suggest adding an achievement for it. That way, your 100% completionists don't have anything to whine about. Also, I suggest making the quest completely optional and outside of 100%ing the game to do these things I'm talking about. Also, there's another thing that I would like to discuss. And it's about DE's promise that they made to all the players, which is currently restricting them from making an Excalibur Prime. I'd like to go and look at the... Well, not look. I'd like to have one of the devs talk with me who um, knows about that promise that was made because I don't know anything about it and see if there's a way around it to where everyone on the console version could get Excalibur Prime and then, you know, we'd have three versions of Excalibur. It'd be regular one, Prime, and Umbra. I definitely want to get some of my ideas in the game. If you agree with me, let me know. Give the video a thumbs up. If you disagree, go ahead and give the video a thumbs down. If you have additional ideas please type them out in the comments also <clears throat> before I go and head off let's see if there's anything fun to do investigate the planes at night with the mask equipped yeah I've already got it equipped and it's night I'll just go ahead and no 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 Whoops. Ooh, whoops. I tried to back out of that quickly. I forgot that I left my thing on public. Oh well. Um, the reason... Well, one reason that I'm going to add to customizing 
an exorbitant amount of mod slots and capacities and making your own cards is because I want to make a desecrate Shadows of the Dead build and I can't quite get the balance right with the current cards I have. However, DE, before you even consider implementing that, I have a request to make of you. Please wait until I've gotten literally every mod card that's in the game. If necessary, please help. Uh, to these guys, I'm in here. I'm sorry. Spent that same amount of time no matter what, dude. My apologies, guys I was in that game with. I forgot and left my thingy on public. Mm. Much mark in the brain, have I? Mm. Very dumb have I been. Right, okay. I want to get this Mask of the Revenant thing going. Invite only. Planes, free roam, night. Uh huh. It's night time. Um, additional. If you agree, and you have additional stuff that you're going to hammer out in the comments section. Feel free to let DE know because I'm too lazy to hop on their dev streams and ask myself. Hmm. Lazy. No, not really. I'm working with a lot of other stuff. I have my own streaming, recording, and YouTube channel to maintain. Just for funsies, so go ahead and make it happen, because it's a habit. I'll get a few of these. I get a few of those. A massive sentient energy spike in your area. I advise you to be careful. Uh huh. Hmm. Buck shot. I'm not mistaken, what I'm seeing over there is the Eidolon itself. Honestly, I have no idea where to go.
well out of range. I've got the mask equipped. What more does it want? Hooray for RNG, am I right? Well, it's nice that it gave me a circle on the map. So, what was that? Okay, where's the next spot you want me to go? Hmm. Trees and rocks. <coughs> well, there's plenty of trees and rocks everywhere. 
a fishing spot I could use. I missed. There we go, got one. Got another. There we go. I'll take that. Is he gonna be under that? No. Okay, I'm gonna guess it's gonna be for me to return to what's his face. Why not? back to see this and talk to the little boy again. Boy, girl, whoever it is. Ah, oh, while I'm on my way. get at least some progress in this quest. So, who do I want to go talk to the little kid sold me the mask? I'll find out soon enough. supply support and rewards for Tenno fighting in active oh yeah you can buy those and formas oh cothal tendrils oh okay why not Next title. Sniper Tron. Ether Daggers. Let's 
sentient immunity to the infestation is exploited with this refined flaxus, formula specifically to combat infested oils. Okay. Thanks. Many ten of those and ten thousand. Yeah, I got that. Two thousand. Nice. Okay. Uh, I got that. Okay, uh, clearly I have no clue what I'm supposed to do. Do I talk to this guy? Consequence to consequence brings you to me. Saya, if he... If Onko, if I could have shown her how catalogs of possible futures found out from the moment I could choose, could have chosen to stay. None of them end, ended well. None <coughs> save one. This one. The one where I left. Okay. Oh, this future ends so well for her. Yeah, thank you. I want to I want to escape out of this. Let me go. Stop talking. The only one I could live with. Someday I swear this is but oh, this was this will be born out. Speak of this no more. To be crushed by the singular Sir, I think my logic circuits are fused. Enough. Tenno separating from Simple Nexus at Quill Onco Primary. Okay, went and did that thingy, now what? I'm just gonna check the quest. <clears throat> well, at least I got somewhere in it. I got somewhere. Craft another revenant comp okay. Yeah. Investigate plans, then craft another component. Huh 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 huh. This is gonna take a while. I just want to check and see if I have anything. Uh, Warframe. H I J K L M O P Q R. Hmm. I have to go and find another revenant component. Yeah, I'll I'll be doing that later with some friends because I don't want to do those Cetus bounties by me onesie. Mm mm. Okay, everyone. Thank you for joining. I appreciate any support you give. Both with my ideas and advice for Digital Extremes. Making Warframe even more awesome. And supporting my channel. You know, links should be down somewhere over that... that, that somewhere down there so feel free to use whichever flavor of support link you like till next time everyone bye